a beginner's guide to strengthen and condition your muscles for a fitter you using your total gym. Now this workout is all about conditioning your legs and your core, and we will use two different accessories in mini circuits with minimal transitions so that you can really learn the exercises. So the two pieces of the accessories that you will need is your squat stand as well as your ab crunch accessory. Now the first set of exercises will involve your squat stand and you will have a higher level, medium to high, whatever is best for your strength level. And then we'll change it for our ab crunch. Before you get into your workout, make sure that you perform a dynamic set of exercises. And that just means warming your body up in all ranges of motion so that your muscles are prepared for your workout. So you can do any type of exercise that you like, like jumping jacks, squats, lunges, little stretches, some twists. And this exercise is one that will mimic the legs and the core so that you're prepared for the movements that we're going to do. So to get into position, make sure that you're sitting at the very bottom of your glide board. Your squat stand is attached, your feet are come on top. Cup your fingers on the cushion part of your glide board and then walk your feet up towards the top of your squat stand. So your hips are at the very bottom. And we're also gonna perform 22 reps for every single exercise in this workout, just to bring in that new year. Okay, so here we go into our first exercise in our dynamic warm up. So we squat down, and as we extend, we curl up and crunch. So we squat, squeeze the glutes and the thighs, and then your abs. So it's just a squat and a crunch. To make it slightly harder, you're going to take those hands back behind your head, just making sure that your elbows are open. It just gives you a little bit of added resistance. Once you've done your reps and you feel pretty warm doing other exercises of your choice, you'll move right into the first exercise of the circuit. Now that your muscles are warm, keep on squatting because we're right into the first exercise. It is a squat. So I want you to press through the heels, make sure that your knees and toes are in the same direction, your lower back is pressing into your glide board, and you're going into those 22 reps. Once you've gotten to 22, I want you to hold it at the bottom and make tiny, small little ranges of motion. Again, make sure that you can cup the end of that glide board so that you know that your hips are at the very bottom. And if you feel any kind of pressure in your knees, that means you're putting too much weight in your toes. So I want you to press the weight back into your heels, lift those toes back so that you can really squeeze your glutes. Once you've gone to 22, we're gonna add a little jump. So we squat and hop, squat and hop. And again, knees and toes in the same direction, core is in tight the entire time. And again, 22 reps. Once you're done with that, you'll move into exercise number two. Take it into one leg at the top, the other leg is extended, single leg squats. So as we press down, I want you to make sure that that knee and the toes are in the same direction. And as you extend the leg out, press the weight through the heel so that you can really squeeze the glute. Once you've done your 22, extend the leg, then change to the other side. So you always want to have the glide board open when you're changing legs. All right. And then our third exercise will be a bridge. Now for this one, you'll close the glide board Roll your hips up just a little bit. Again, hands at the very bottom. Make sure that you are feeling where the bottom is. And then you'll extend the legs into your bridge. So extend out and squeeze the glutes. Lengthen your thighs and bring it back in. All right, once you're done with those three exercises, I'd like you to try to repeat them one more round. But if you've had enough and it's been a one and done set, Perfect, you'll move right on to the second circuit using your ab crunch. Now we move into our ab crunch accessories. So place them on, making sure that the handles are coming towards each other. Lower your incline down to a lower or medium level. And again, you can always adjust it as your body improves. So now let's get into the first movement. You're going to ride the glide board up the rail so it's close to the ab crunch accessory. Grab on with the opposite hand. So you're holding the glide board with one, and the opposite hand with the other. The knees will go at a diagonal so that you are hooking your ankles to the outside and your knees are facing the opposite side. Right from here, your head faces your tower and you're working with the lower half of the body. Now notice, the upper body does not move. It's just the lower body. So tuck the knees in and out. Exhale your breath each time and you should feel this in your waistline. Once you've done your 22, hold it up and then just shift your knees so that they come 
to the front. And you're going to center knee tucks. Again, upper body stays still, lower body curls in. This takes a lot of pressure off of the lower back if your core is just starting to get stronger. And then once you've been your 22, again, hold the glide board up, swivel your knees to the opposite side, and you'll do the other side of your obliques. Now, once you're done, hold the glide board up, take a step down, grab the glide board, and then close it. Now you have the choice to repeat the ab crunch circuit one more round, or you can call it a one and done set and move right into a set of cool down exercises that stretch and lengthen your muscles so that you're prepared for your next workout. To make the most of this beginner's guide workout, perform the workouts on non-consecutive days, and then choose one more day to combine both workout number one and number two in one large circuit using the cables, the squat stand, and your ab crunch accessory. And you will learn that it takes very small little changes to make a very powerful workout. Good luck with your training. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear from you.